Segment 2. Ports and Pinch Rollers Now that the cutter is mounted on the stand, let's get familiar with the basic components, ports and pinch rollers. On the Muse M15 and M24, all of the interfaces are on the right side of the cutter as you face the front of the product. The ports from back to front are the power port and two USB ports. The power port is configured for the AC adapter. This is how the cutter receives power. Now is a good time to connect the adapter to the power supply and plug the cutter into a grounded outlet. There are two USB ports next to the power port. The one immediately next to the power port is for the USB cable that connects to your PC. This is the simplest and most common way of connecting the cutter to your computer. Now might be a good time to go ahead and use the USB cable that came in your accessory box to connect the Muse to your computer. The other port is called the U-Disc port. This allows you to insert a USB thumb drive into the cutter and cut files stored on the drive. This is one of the features that allows you to use a Muse vinyl cutter without having to connect it directly to a PC. We'll show you how this works a little later in this setup video. Moving to the back of the cutter, we see the pinch rollers and the pinch roller arm. The pinch roller arm raises and lowers the pinch rollers. Lowering the arm raises the pinch rollers a few inches off the platen to allow you to insert vinyl or other roll media into the cutter. Raising the arm lowers the pinch rollers. There are three pinch rollers on each Muse vinyl cutter. These hold the vinyl in place by pressing it down against the exposed grit rollers on the platen. In order for this to work, the pinch rollers must be positioned above the grit rollers. When the pinch rollers are in the raised position, you can slide them left and right to position them over different areas on the platen. Just make sure they are always aligned over a section of exposed grit roller. The easy way to see this is to raise the central cover and look for the white marks on the rail. These marks show where the grit rollers are and, therefore, where you can position the pinch rollers effectively. Finally, you will notice that there is a spring-loaded tab on the back of each pinch roller. These tabs allow you to vary the amount of pressure the pinch rollers apply to the media. Always make sure the pressure setting is consistent on both sides of the media across all three pinch rollers. The default setting is with the tab in the upper position. This is recommended for most vinyl graphics. Lowering the tab raises the pressure for special circumstances.